Dinosaurs may have roamed the Earth more than 65 million years ago, but this animal was around long before the Jurassic creatures existed. With the help of state-of-the-art CT scanning and 3D imagery techniques, paleontologist Julien Benoit has made an important discovery. When I looked at huge Chambersia for the first time, and I realized that some people say it could have been a venomous species, um, yeah, the first thing I thought is that I have to study it. I have to, to CT scan uh, that thing to look what is inside and to, to finally answer that question, what these fossa were for. Here you can see there are the canines here, but they are very blunt because they are completely wound. And we wanted to see if it has snakes-like uh, fangs. So I went to Luke Norton, uh, who is a PhD student. So the tooth morphology was hooked, uh, ridged, and uh, that ridge uh, helped to the injection of venom uh, when Hugh Chambersia was biting to his prey. There are only two of these fossils in the world, one here at Witts University in Johannesburg and one in London. Both were discovered in the Karoo area of South Africa. It's a remarkable fossil in that it has a, a morphology that is unique to this, this genus. Such a small little, almost um, insignificant fossil that sat in a shelf in a collection for so many years to now be subjected to CT scanning and make international headlines is phenomenal. Despite a few chips, the Ilcha Bersia is rather well preserved, especially for something that's 255 million years old. Even more intriguing is that this creature is related to early mammals, not to reptiles. So it would have been like a dog-sized mammal-like animal, but with this particular detail, it was not uh, walking the way a dog walk but more walking away uh, a lizard walk, so with the, the legs on the side of the, of the body and more or less sprawling uh, like a reptile. Benoit's research shows that the Eucabersia was the oldest venomous creature on Earth, predating snakes by a hundred million years. Julie Shire, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.